there's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Time again for the Underdog Show, starring that champion of champions, Underdog. Not a bird, not a plane, not even a frog. Just little low me, Underdog. There's Betsy and his buddy Julie. Go, 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 first on the run. The stories of Nick Craig outrageous. No one could be more courageous. The hunter chased the bocce shooters on the rocks and then there's Is here. Oh, I wasn't afraid, Underdog. I called because I just found out tomorrow is your birthday. And I'm going to give you a real birthday party. A fancy party with the cake and candles and everything. Your party will make a perfect day unless some crime calls me away. Oh, that would be terrible. I hope nothing happens before tomorrow. But far across the sea in London, England, something was already happening. <laughs> the museum has promised to loan out our Excalibur sword collection. Loan it to a museum in San Francisco. But the Excalibur sword collection is worth millions of dollars. Some criminals are sure to try and steal it while it's getting from here to San Francisco. Well, that's what I'm worried about. Who can we be sure of? The underdog. Underdog. Telegram for underdog. Your party now is out for me. I am needed across the sea. Oh, shucks, underdog. Tomorrow's your birthday. When duty calls, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. And so it was that the famous Excalibur sword collection, as it traveled from London by plane, was guarded by the fearless underdog. When the collection was transferred to a train in New York, it was still carefully guarded by underdog. Yeah, it's terribly good of you to come along and guard the Excalibur sword collection. Anyone might try to steal it. And up ahead was that notorious criminal, Riff Raff. All right, men, here comes the train. When she hits that tree we put across the tracks, we pull up our handkerchiefs and charge down there just like the James Boys. Uh, yeah, boss. And uh, then we get that million dollar sword collection. A wreck. We've had a train wreck. Put back the swords and stay on guard. This may be Riff Raff's calling card. What's that? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Three minutes. Three minutes. Oh, man. All right, all you people. Just hand over your money and jewels to the boys. Meanwhile, I got to see a car about some swords. This looks like the car, all right. Oh, here's one of the swords already. Okay, now, let's have the rest of the collection. The only collection you will get are cuts and bruises you'll regret. I'm gone! I'll get you yet. Take this! A crooked sword like a crooked man always ends up and also ran. It's under the door! 
I should go and bring them back, but first I must put the train on the track. Mighty tough job, underdog. You sure you can get that engine back on the rails? This is no problem to retrieve. I'll just bend over and give a... Ow! Underdog, what is it? Oh! Underdog's in pain. Quick, send for an ambulance. The mighty underdog was in pain. Why? What was causing it? There's plenty of excitement ahead in our next thrilling episode. What is this? Who are you? Uh, don't move a muscle. Uh, hold it right there. Help! I is being blinded. Where is everybody? <laughs> don't go worrying, Mr. Wizard. It's just me, Tudor Turtle. Tudor, my boy, what is the blinding light? Uh, my camera, Mr. Wizard. Uh, that's what I came over here to see you about. I want to be one of them big-time newspaper reporters, uh, taking pictures and all that. Well, maybe being a big-time reporter would at least keep you from putting the spots in my eyes. But watch out what you do, Tudor, my boy. Be careful. The big-time newspaper reporter always waits in the outside office till the big chief calls him in to cover the big-time story. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you call, Chief? Look at this, you numbskull. This is our paper from yesterday. Look at the headlines. Dog lovers hold monthly meeting. Jelly sandwich lost at PTA picnic. Chef offers recipe for turtle soup. Uh, that got in by mistake, Chief. I say the whole paper is a mistake. I want some news. Get me real news and plenty of pictures. Now get over to that new skyscraper building. We got a reporter guys trying to jump from the top floor. Got it, Chief. I'll get those pictures. Hmm, let's see now. Oh, there he is. All right, fella. Uh, hold it right there while I get a shot. Uh, don't let go yet. Uh, you from the Union, Mac? Got it. Uh, now come on in here, fella. I gotta get your story. Uh, don't struggle. I'll get you in. Let go of me, you crackpot. Look out! Yeah! <laughs> I reckon uh, somebody must have closed the door. Look at this! Great pictures in every paper but ours! Pictures of some fool acrobat doing stunts on the top floor of that skyscraper building, and you got nothing! Gotta do something fast. Hmm. The Big Billion Bank. Uh, might be a story around here. Even a robbery. What can I do for you, sweetheart? Uh, you seen any uh, suspicious characters around here? I'm suspicious of everybody, handsome. What do you have in mind? Uh, you know, uh, them kind of fellas that wear masks like this and, and uh, shove a gun at you like this and... Uh... Oh, oh, robbery, oh. Stand back! I got a gun! Yeah! <laughs> All about the big billion bank hold up and you got nothing. You ought to be able to smell a story like this one. Uh, would you believe it, Chief? Uh, I got a code. Get out. You got a story or you're through. Well, I just got to get a story now. And sure enough, at the first slavings bank, the mayor and the governor was laying the cornerstone for the new wing of the bank. Hey, them fellas are digging their way into that bank. What a story. <laughs> All right, you, take that! And that! And that! And for hitting the mayor on the head, hitting the governor in the eye, destroying public property, etc., 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 I sentence you to one year in prison. Take him away. Oh, no, help, Mr. Wizard! Help! Well, maybe he's learned the lesson. Dressel, 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 Tom. Time for this one to come home.
of this long ago, Sergeant. If we can't make those gopher Indians leave, we can at least put them where they can't do any harm. But I don't understand, Colonel. Listen and learn from your superior officer. Yes, sir. I have here special orders for ruffled feather and running board. By the power of these orders, you two have been drafted into the army. Congratulations. What did he say? Him say you full of prunes. An outrage. Get them, Sergeant. Stop those two, Colonel. They're wrecking the place. Halt! Can't you hear? When I say halt, I mean halt! You're in the army now, and the army requires blind obedience. All right, you two new recruits. Our first job is to put you in top physical condition. So we'll teach you to run the obstacle course. Sergeant? All you do is run up here like this, grab hold of the rope, and swing over like this. Bully! Go to it, recruits. No, no, no! Let go of the rope! Bubbly, you funny, you wash it up! What did he say? Him say being soldier, cleaner job than being Indian. <laughs> <laughs> this is our next obstacle, the climbing wall. Sergeant? Well, all you do is run up to the wall and jump up like this, grab the top of the wall, and throw yourself over. Bully, go to it, recruits. Jump! Jump! Come down this instant! Now look out! Don't you! What did he say? Him say army life full of ups and downs! Damn <laughs> <laughs> Recruits! This is our final obstacle, the crawl through pipe. Sergeant? Now all you gotta do is run up to the pipe, drop down on all fours like this, and crawl through the pipe like this, and come out the other side. Go to it, recruits. Dark in the new super pipe. What did he say? Him say it dark inside pipe, not like dark. Nonsense. There's nothing to be afraid of. A good soldier fears nothing. Watch me. <laughs> Looks like trying to make soldiers out of those gopher Indians has got the colonel all tied up. Y'all be sure and see our next adventure. There, Indianapolis. Did I tell you how I won the Indianapolis 500? Race, Commander? Well, I really must be racing along. Just two laps from the end, I was in the lead, naturally, when my right rear tire went flat. The other cars roared past me. Getting out, I quickly patched the tire and pumped it up. I put on full speed and was soon in the lead again. But then, my left rear tire went flat. 
the cars passed me. Again, I repaired the tire and was on my way, driving with unbelievable skill. I soon regained first place. However, the strain had been too great on my engine and it exploded. Good heavens, Commander, but I thought you said you won the race. Yes. Thinking quickly, I pointed my tire pump to the rear and pumping furiously, I jetted across the finish line, an easy winner. Would you call that a pumped-up story, Commander? Huh? Oh, uh, quite. Yes, from the cat as a psychiatrist, I think I can talk to some fair and stop him from stealing food. But I could never get him here. I have here a pill that is just what you need. If Savafair takes this pill, he will do anything you want him to for one hour. No oh boy, I'll get him here, all right. Oh, Madame, this is a good place for us to die. Ah, really, Malamotte? I wish we had better dinner, but uh, these apples from the fort are better than nothing, eh? Who can it be? It's me! Clone thy cat! Now, don't get excited. I just stopped in to be friendly. Well, I even brought champagne. Champagne? There we are. Say, that's a nice picture you have on the wall back there. That picture is not... Half so nice as the one on the wall behind you. <laughs> well, why don't you put a picture up there on the ceiling? <laughs> or uh, perhaps down there on the floor. Yeah, I still say the picture behind you is the best. <laughs> but now, salute. <laughs> in just a few seconds, I'll have you in my power. You just drank a pill which will make you do anything I say. <laughs> oh, Klondike Cat, I command you, you are a chicken. <laughs> Mommy, you. <laughs> Wonderful. Now you are the dog. <laughs> and now you are the pig. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Enough! <laughs> it is time to put this new power to use. I command you, Klondike Cat, go to the fort and bring me a steak dinner. Hurry! I say, could that be Klondike Cat coming? It looks like him, Major. Oh, it is! Did you get savoir faire, Klondike? Hey, Klondike, did you... You know, it rather looked as if he had a, a, a steak dinner from the fort. Ah, delicious-looking steak dinner, Klondike. <laughs> I command you to return to the fort and bring pies for dessert. It looked like Klondike again. I say, Klondike! You know, it, it, it rather looked as if he had our pies with him. Sure did, Major. It, it's unbelievable, but, but there's no doubt about it. Klondike Cat is stealing after that cat. <laughs> uh, what happened? I gave Savoir that pill and... Uh-oh, oh, oh, he gave me the pill. Uh, he, I'll make mincemeat out of that mouse. Ah, Klondike. Now, like a good slave, put down the pies and prepare to feed me. Oh, yeah? Well, how about me feeding you a little pie right now? Klondike cat. I arrest you in, 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 in... Oh, it was only a trick. 
Klondike Cat was really capturing Savoir Fair. <laughs> of course, Major. <laughs> Klondike Cat always gets his... <laughs>